Ring the Bell Combat TV, it's your boy Dan the Man. Anthony Joshua gets beat again by Alexander Usyk. I'm not surprised. For those of you who watched my prediction video, I did say um, I gave AJ a chance just, you know, on his strength and uh, if he was to fight a particular way, just throw caution to the wind and just go after Usyk in the early rounds. And I thought if he doesn't do that, Usyk could just be too slick for him and it would be a repeat of their first fight. And uh, I think after the first, the, yeah, after three rounds, he became a repeat of the first fight. Don't get me wrong, AJ did put on a better performance this time, but Usyk is just too good for him. Usyk is just levels above AJ, man. You know, AJ has his limits and Usyk has shown that. That when it comes to that boxing IQ, you know, ring generalship, yeah, Usyk is just levels above AJ, man. And, uh, you know, congrats to Usyk. He's really... Shown that he's on a different level. He's on a different level to to uh, to to AJ, and I think Bar Tyson Fury he's on a different level to the rest of them, to the rest of the guys in in that division. I don't see nobody but Tyson Fury beating Usyk, and uh, even against Fury, I would say after what he just done to AJ. I favour Tyson Fury to beat him, but believe me, it's not going to be a walk in the park, you know. The only thing that would go against Usyk would be the size difference, where Tyson Fury is, Tyson Fury's IQ is just as good as Usyk's, ring generalship just as good, but he's bigger. So it will be a tough, tough fight for Usyk. But I wouldn't be surprised if he pulls it off. Usyk is a dangerous, dangerous man. He's a full-fledged heavyweight now. So you got to put some respect on his name. For real, for real. But I still think Tyson Fury beats him. But hey, that's in the long grass. Right now, we just got to congratulate the man. We've just got to, you know, take our hats off to him. I really do. I think Usyk is... When the dust settles, he, he, Usyk is going to be seen as one of the the best to ever lace them gloves, man. I mean, to be a unified cruiserweight champ and come into the heavyweight and... Nah, you got to rate the guy. You got And if he beats Tyson Fury... Forget about it. If he beats Tyson Fury, then uh, that puts him into the... Uh, in my opinion, it will put him into the top 10 of all greats. You know? I know a lot of people might like, like to look at the 70s and the 80s and even the 60s and now say those are the golden... You can only fight the people in your era. You, you know, some people like to say... Well, this era, it's not, it's quite weak. And da -da. Nah, I don't buy into all of that. You can only fight the people in your era, man. The 80s weren't that great. Tyson was beating a lot of bums. You got where I'm coming from, so... I can't tell you, we can't take nothing away from Usyk. We can't. And, um... But for, as for AJ, where does AJ go from here? This is the difficult part. Just like Wilder found out that he can't beat Tyson Fury. Same way AJ finding out that he can't beat someone like Usyk. So where do they... I think AJ and uh, Wilder should get it on. They should definitely get it on. That's that, that's a sellable fight. Because I don't think any of them beats uh, the, the, the top two guys. You know? I think that's a that's a that's a... A route both guys should really think about. I mean, AJ Dylan White is part two. Might yeah, it's it's sellable, it's sellable. But I think that's where they are now. I think there's a big gap between the top two guys. 
um, Fury and Usyk and the rest. So the rest have just got to slug it out amongst themselves. There's still there's still some exciting fights there, but yeah, they got to wait for someone for the for the top two to retire man, before they can even test them. Because I don't see there's a there, yeah it's a ceiling. There's a ceiling there between Tyson Fury and Usyk and the rest of the the the, 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 the guys in that division. So yeah, there's still fights out there for AJ, but. Yeah, he's as far as him, we you know being in in talks of fight, even a fury fight. I, I see fury schooling him, so I don't even think AJ should go anywhere near fury at the moment. You know, it would sell, but it would be a bad look for AJ, man. I don't see him doing anything with fury. So, um, yeah, congratulations, Usyk, Fury, if you're listening. Come out that retirement, mate. Let's get on. Usyk Fury for the undisputed, yeah, big fight. Big fight. I see it happening, though. Well, I hope it does happen in the near future. By next year, that'll be the biggest thing in a, in a long while, if that was to happen. But anyway, like I said, congratulations, Usyk. You show that your, yeah, your levels is, your ring IQ and levels, yeah, it's, a, it's above... The rest, like I said, bar Tyson Fury. Anyway, it's been your boy Dan the Man, Ring the Bell TV. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Salute.